So I've been toying with the idea for a while now of buying a van and converting it into a camping style van just for the sake of being able to take it anywhere that I want to go in terms of the UK because realistically that's all we're going to be doing this year um, and just being able to freely go around with work um, so I managed to pick myself up a nice little paddy completely basic van, standard van um, it hasn't been used as a camping style van before so it's completely box standard um, and yeah I want to convert it into a camping style van this, I haven't really got too many big plans as to where everything's going to go yet. Um, I know that the bed's going to go on this side, and then I'm going to have a shelving unit on this side. Um, apart from that, obviously it's a caddy van, so it's not too big, it's not too spacious, but it's, it's perfect for, for what I'm going to need it for, really because it's still the size of a car. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you around, show you what it's like now. I'm going to rip it all the bits, um, and then start a build, start a camping build. Um, I mean, it's completely bog standard as it is, so it's going to need a lot of work doing, but that's exactly what I bought it for, um, exactly as it is a, f a full star project. So I'll show you around to show what, what it's like now and how much work is actually needed to do to it, um, and yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. It's cool. So I'm going to be removing all of this bulkhead here, I'm going to take off all of the ply, I'm going to rip up everything that's on the floor. Um, just for the pure sake of I need to insulate just to keep me warm or cold. So there's nothing fancy inside the van right now. It's still got the original bulkhead. Um, it's still got ply, it's still got stuck down flooring. So there's nothing special. It was just used as a, as a work van. So I'm gonna rip everything out. Uh, I'm gonna insulate it just for the sake of, because I'm turning it into a camping style van, keep myself warm um, and just make it as cozy as possible because not the fact that I'm going to be living in this van, it's not going to be a living van, but just for when I'm out and about the weekends, um, you know, camping, just just to help make it feel that little bit cosier. So I'm going to start off by ripping off all the bulkhead, rip off the ply, rip up the carpet, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Do you want to help? You going to help? Do you want to come help me do some stuff? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Good boy. I just want to add as well that this is my first camping style conversion that I've done, so it's not going to be perfect. I'm not a pro at doing any of this stuff, um, and also this is my first vlog style conversion video, so it's not going to be the best, but we're here to have fun. Let's go. So I've ripped everything out, and as expected, it is shit eye. Um, so I just need to hoover it all out, give it a mega wipe down, um, and then we'll be able to start the build. But until it's all clean, I'm not doing nothing. So let's give it a good clean. So just to give you an example as to how dirty everything is, you know, the stuff. Well, in the arches, that's been there for since birth, I reckon. So, still got a bit there out. But there is stuff uh, everywhere. So, let's give it a good clean out. Okay, so I've stripped it all out, got rid of absolutely everything in here, um, giving it a complete clean down because it was absolutely disgusting, um, just dust and mould and all that was just built up everywhere. So I've given it a massive clean down, um, going to get some sound deadening in and put some of them on the sides because it's a little bit tinny and then I'll be ready for installation. So that's going to be the next stage um, and I need to go get some, some bits, so see you on the other side. 
All right, so we've went and bought our materials. We've got some uh, insulation, went and bought a laser battery, um, went and bought some cable for the lights that the spotlights are gonna fit on the roof. Um, just bought loads of little bits and bobs. I sound dead in it as well, which I didn't film just because it only it didn't take too long. So I just went and smashed that out. Um, yeah, got all the materials ready to start. I bought some timber in that as well. Put the clad in because that's what we're going to do to the walls. So we're going to just shove insulation everywhere possible, really. Um, use some timber battens, which we're going to screw into the frame. And then that is from where we're going to put ply or, or, or clad it. So let's go and insulate. So we put insulation all around in the spots, basically where every hole was possible. Um, all in the doors, it's the every hole, every hole possible. So now we are going to measure out the battens, um, which is going to be the main frame, basically, to have a ply or clad, because I think I'm going to put clad on this side, um, and just start building like a structure of the build really to the, the the back so there's still little bits of insulation that we still need to do I'm still waiting on some sound deadening there's still a little bit missing on the floor so we're just gonna take some measurements basically and see where we're at um, with, with the frame so let's jump on that so a little bit of research obviously I was doing before the build um, they were saying about the insulation is you don't want to stuff it like too to make it too tightly packed just because it defeats the, the purpose of insulation so all the holes that we filled up on the roof and stuff we've still made it fluffy and fluffy so um, it's still got the purpose of what I've fitted it for really so just as just in case anyone says that we've tightly packed it and it's pointless we haven't we've um, made it so that it's still an air gap let's say to to, to do its its thing, let's say. <laughs> so the idea is to put battens down here, um, all the way across. So here, here, here. We've got some clad in already there. So instead of just instead of plying it, um, we're just going to put the timber structure frame on straight away, and then we're going to just screw to that clad. So we'll put a little bit of insulation behind here as well once we put the the, the battens in, um, and then. Yeah, we'll tuck the insulation in behind and put the, put the cladding straight on rather than screwing it to ply and wasting ply. So that's going to be the plan. We'll cut up a few, um, cut up a few uh, beams and we'll, we'll get them screwed and, and glued on. Let's go. a bit of adhesive glue just to add a little bit more stick <laughs> let's see so we got yeah the adhesive glue and then with a few screws which should hold the timber frame in place well as it has with those two
Okay, so we've managed to finish one of the sides with uh, the battens, the insulation. We've actually foil wrapped it as well, which is something that you do after insulation just to keep it airtight and watertight. Um, I'm not gonna show you too much of it now, you could probably sit behind me, but that's just purely because I still need to do the whole of the van. And when I do the rest of the van, I'll do it all in one and uh, yeah, film it. Um, I've only just quickly smashed that out because I just, I've just i already insulated it, so I just wanted to keep that nice and tight, just so one side is already insulated. Um, so yeah, just still waiting for a few bits. They're gonna be turning up in the next few days, and then I'll be able to get the rest of th th this side on and then um, yeah we can really smash it out and start really getting the structure of the inside um, but until then we're just waiting for bits so see you soon all right we're back um, we were waiting on bits last time the bits are here uh, I was waiting on a bit of sound deadening which was slightly annoying because I thought the four rolls that I had was enough it's not we've got three more so that's enough to do the sound deadening managed to get some carpet for the headliners um, so we're gonna get that all done um, and then we'll be able to vapor barrier the rest of the inside so it's completely airtight ready, ready for ply on the sides um, on the floor um, and then we have the structure of the van so let's get on with it shout out to Matt for giving us a hand Yo. legend 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 so while we were waiting for bits over the last few days um, I just managed to get a little bit of more insulation on the roof. It's slightly different than the fluffy stuff, but that's just because this is a little bit thinner. Like I said uh, a few days ago, um, if you use, if you compress the fluffy stuff, then it's just pointless. It, it doesn't have its purpose. So we've got some 25 mil um, hard board insulation, which sits perfectly in the roof, uh, ready for. Yeah, the vapor barrier. We've used adhesive glue to stick this on so it will hold on nice and tight um, and not fall, let's say. But it's, it's worked really well. Uh, I stuck this all down yesterday. It wasn't worth me vlogging it because it was only a short job. So that's where we're at. Uh, ready to get on with the carpet and everything. Let's do it. Just to give you an idea of what the old headlining looked like and the reason why we're carpeting it, I'll show you. It is nasty. Let's cop it on. I'm not gonna lie, it's the little things in life that make me happy. Like having a carpeted roof. <laughs> you see what it was like before, it was super moldy, super disgusting. So uh, yeah, I've given it a nice fresh carpet and now it just completely transforms the front of the van. So I'm well happy with that. So that's all the stuff to be done today. Um, Time is a little bit limited, so we've, but we've done what we, we wanted to do. So we've carpeted the front headliner and we've finished the sound barrier, sound deadening. So that's all finished. 
Tomorrow we'll just foil wrap the whole of the inside, the vapour barrier, to stop any moisture getting in or out. Um, and then we will be ready for ply, which is going on these door panels and on this side. And then once all that's plied, uh, we can start cladding and start building the structure of all the bed and everything. Tomorrow we've got a solar panel coming, so that'll be tomorrow's job. Um, and just sort of sorting out the electrics, a few spotlights and stuff like that. So hopefully that's what we'll get done tomorrow. Hopefully that's what you'll see towards the rest of this vlog. But until then, I'll go, I'll go to work. So we'll see you soon. All right, so it is the next day. It is a little bit duller today. Um, it has been enough raining, so what we're going to try and do is really try and vapor barrier everything just so it's completely sealed because I have already insulated it. The last thing I want to do is have it insulated and open and then it rain and potentially ruin my insulation. So I'm going to really try and vapor barrier it all. I did say what would have been a few minutes ago to you, but a day ago for me that I was going to fit the solar panel on the roof. Now, obviously, if it's raining, I'm not going to be cutting holes and playing with electric, so I'll leave that for now. It might turn up later, and if the sun does come out, then I'll give it a good shot. But I've got a few hours today. We're going to just focus on the vapor barrier, get the whole of the inside wrapped, um, and then, yeah, we can start playing around with the flooring, with the ply, and the whole of the inside will be vapor tight, so air and water tight. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on. Let's do it. So a few of you might be a little bit unsure as to what vapor barrier is. I've spoken about it a few times throughout this vlog, but basically what it is, is just keeping it air moisture tight, basically. So for instance, behind, this is already vapor barrier. This side is vapor barrier. So behind here on the shell of the van is the sound deadening. In front of the sound deadening is the insulation. And then you wrap over everything with this vapor barrier. Now this use, um, foil to, well, so it's like a foil tape to keep it all tight. So realistically, no air or moisture should be able to get in this way or this way or out this way. So that is what is going to happen through the whole of the van. And if any of you are ever watching this to consider doing a caddy van, um, that's the process that most people do. So you go sound barrier, insulation, foil, and then you can play with whatever you decide to do, whether that's ply, I'm going to clad it. So yeah, just to let you guys know in, in case you're a little bit unsure as to what vapor barrier it is, and I've said it many, many times throughout the vlog, that's what it is. So if any of you have ever done a camper uh, conversion before, or you're gonna do one, this foil tape, the backing, is a pain in the ass. So we vapor barriered all the floor, all that is nice air and moisture tight. Um, and we're gonna just whack the ply down to stop us from damaging any of the vapor barrier. Um, at the beginning of the video, I stripped everything out and I'm gonna reuse the ply that was already originally on the floor just purely because it is still fine. Um, there's no damage to it. We've just given it a good clean off and it's already cut to shape. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use that ply and then we'll finish vapor barriering it. So as we're screwing the floor down, it's just one thing that we've got to be careful of, and that is like the fuel lines and the brake lines. I've just poked my head underneath and you can see the old holes of where, uh, you know, they originally screwed it down. So I'm gonna try and follow them as much as we can. Obviously it's gonna be a lot harder. We're using longer screws, um, just to, obviously we've got, we've added like 24 mil onto the floor with the sound deadening and foiling and everything. So. We're gonna try and follow the holes, but obviously it's quite important to try and, well, very important to, to, to make sure that we don't hit the fuel lines and brake lines. So that's what we're just really making sure to be precise that we are far enough away. So the whole of the inside of the back of the van is ready for the next stage and electrics. So that'll be the next vlog. Um, and I'll start the next vlog with possibly the solar panel and electrics um, as that is going to be the next stage so pulling all the cables fitting the solar panel fitting the inverter 
the, the leisure battery, the split relay, so everything like that. Um, yeah, that, that would be the next stage. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Tap a little comment in there. And I will see you in the next vlog. Ciao.